Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Swipe Boom here with another mukbang video. What's going on? How are ya? We made some homemade Taco Bells in Chorito. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember the in Chorito? It came out about like years ago, but they stopped selling them about 15 years ago. I think that's the right amount of years. I, I'm not sure. They brought it back in certain Taco Bells here in New York City as like a app special. Like, and I believe you can still like technically like go in there and be like, can you? Combine this, that, and the third, and make your own. No, like it's yo. It was one of my childhood favorites, the Enchirito. Basically, it's just um, tortilla, frijoles, meat, cheese, enchilada sauce, melted cheese, oh, and onions. There's uh, diced onions inside. Um, I made a recipe cooking video on my TikTok. So if you want to know how to make this, go to my TikTok, check it out. And let me know in the comments, like, hey, man, like, this is my first time on your TikTok. I've been watching you on YouTube. Like, let me know in the comments. I love it when, like, the two worlds combine. So, yeah. And I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have some TikTok people over here because I clickbaited them on that side of the social media's world. So, I'm really hungry. Oh, I have some spicy Doritos and some cheese dip right here, too. Let's, let me pull one out here and uh, we'll start getting into it. Oh, you know what? Let me get. Let me just go ahead and pour my soda. bubbles all right oh my god I have a feeling it's gonna be messy yep Ooh. let's get this thumbnail though Oh, the meat inside is taco seasoned ground beef, but it's beyond beef. So it's plant-based. You can thank uh, the wife for that. Lord, come get my wife. Oh, and I have uh, some lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and uh, yeah, a little bit of onion. Lettuce, tomato, a little bit of daisy. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. If you can't really see it because the plate's in the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you. <laughs> All right. Back to. That's good, okay. First bite. That remake of Taco Bell's and Chorito is so on point. Oh, yo, it's really on point. I guess at the end of the day, the Enchirito wasn't really that complex. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Does that look like Taco Bell's in Chorito from back in the day? Mm. So, the frijoles, or the refried beans, I don't necessarily like to buy them straight up from a can, but I also don't like to 
fully make them from scratch. So what I do is, I buy a, a one can of um, whole pinto beans of uh, the brand is called uh, La Morena. Then I'll buy another can of um, whole pinto beans, but they're called charro beans. And the name brand is La Costaña. And I'll mix those two together. Basically charro beans are the same thing, but they have like a little bit of chorizo in it and chicharrones and shit like that, a little bit more seasoning. Mix the two, bring them up to a boil, start smashing them. I add like a packet of sazon, a little bit of adobo. And I add a good mix of any type of mild cheese. So like mild cheddar, mild Kobe Jack, mild mozzarella, it's just mild cheeses. I don't put a lot in the frijoles, but I just like them. They come out a little bit nicer with a little bit of cheese, those seasonings I said. Whenever I do like TikToks like this though, where I'm doing a recipe or I'm like something I'm proud of where I edited everything nicely, put a nice audio in the background, I'm descriptive, I put the, the recipe in the description, like everything, it gets no views. It's the dumb, sh the, it's the dumb stuff that gets the love. Like I, I think I, some girl was eating like a hundred dollar bag of seafood boil. And it was like her first time eating seafood and she was like, ew, the legs, that's so gross. Blah, blah. And I literally went on there, stitched it. Three seconds of me saying, somebody come get this girl some chicken nuggets. <laughs> and that little seven second TikTok has more over half a million views and like 15,000 likes and hundreds maybe thousands of comments it's ridiculous but if you're an influencer and you're trying to get yourself going whether you I'm passionate in painting or I'm passionate in songwriting whatever but for some reason you petting dogs randomly for 10 seconds on the street gets you like a million views use that Use that bait people to come to your channel so then they can see your other good stuff that you're actually proud of. So that's how I'm kind of looking at it. We got another one up at home. Let's get another one of these Taco Bell and Chorritos. Homemade. Not too sad, man. Spicy Doritos, though. With that dibulation. Yo, tell me, tell me why my homie Sofrito, he's another mukbanger eating video person. He does TikToks. My man's was in my neighborhood in El Barrio, Spaha, Spanish Harlem, if you didn't know. <laughs> and he went to my Gucci Frito. Mine, like I own it now. Um... The Gucci Frito is this Puerto Rican joint literally just across the street from my apartment. And uh, I know, man, I don't know what he was doing. You know, I'm just giving him shit. I don't know, maybe he was working. Maybe he was running errands. Maybe he was in a rush. I don't know. But I got in my feelings. I was like, my man is here, yo. Because you know what it is when I moved here? I was like, man. I really want to collab with some of my favorite New York mukbangers. 
sofrito, ignited, and whoever else lives here. <laughs> That's it. This is the three, just the three of us. And um, it's like I know they're real people. I think they both live in the Bronx. Um, but it's like you know them on here, but I don't know them. And I don't want to be rude and be like, yo, let's hang out. I'm here now. Like, who am I? To? I'm not like friends with them on that level. I got love for them, but I don't know them. I want to hang out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, I don't want to intrude. And like, I guess I just, I just, I guess it just became real when you saw him like standing in front of the Gucci Frito, like where I get my Puerto Rican, like, rice and bedding and stuff. I was like, oh my God, he was right there. I could have ran across the street, but I get it. We're adults. Things are going on. One day I'll hang out with him and we'll collab and it'll be fun. It'll be a good time, you know? And also like, you know, me and my wife, we're also introverts. We don't want to hang out with people. It's like, we like, it's so funny. We like, I don't know if you guys like this too. Oh my God, can I get, can I get in here? Is it burnt? Oh, it's just really tough. I don't know if anybody else is like this. It's like, you know people in real life, mainly our coworkers. And we like a lot of our coworkers. Like, I we like, we really like them. They're really fun. Mm. But then when it's like time to like hang out, it's like, ugh. it just like feels like a chore. And you gotta like, ugh, I gotta get up. I gotta put some pants on, brush my teeth. For what? To go to that place that everybody wants to eat at and hang out. And the crazy thing about that mentality is that we'll go and then we end up like, this is so much fun. Like, this is awesome. And then while you're in it, you're like, oh man, we gotta do it again, man. Like, like genuinely, like this is genuinely fun. Like these people are awesome. I wanna see them again. She's cool, he's cool. Like, let's do this, you know? And then you drop them off and you get on this six train going back home. And you're like, oh my God, I'm ready for some Rocky, some couch, some bed, some snacks. <laughs> I don't, don't want to do that ever again. I don't know. It's kind of like the same way when like people from out of town visit. You're like, oh, all right, we gotta go and show them around, blah, blah, blah. But then you go do it and it's like, it's just so much fun, especially in New York City. It's so much fun here. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry. Okay. I'm about to end this video, but I did wanna say the results because I told everybody I would give them results on my YouTube. Off the rip, 10 out of 10. If you're a fan of Enchirito, Taco Bell's Enchiritos from back in the day, please make this recipe. It tastes exactly, the only thing I will say, maybe a little bit more seasoning, taco seasoning, and I forgot to add salsa. That's it. You can also buy the Taco Bell salsa. It's at the grocery store. So. 10 out of 10, it was great. Follow the recipe to a T and you'll love it. Taco Bell's and Chirito, homemade, amazing. So if you guys wanna go check it out, it's on my TikTok. Thank you for joining me here. So thumbs up the video if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, comment, subscribe. And we'll see y'all on TikTok or the next video. All right, y'all, peace. Ugh.